Welcome to CIO Insight. I'm Georgina Swan, editor of CIO, and today we're talking to Richard Ting, Vice President of Asia Pacific for SonicWall. Richard, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Georgina. It's great to be here. Now, we've already seen some really high profile security incidents this year. What are some of the lessons that CIOs can take from those? Well, we can see that the, the complexity and the nature of some of the threats that are coming out now are uh, becoming much more impactful to organizations. You know, something like the Sony PlayStation attack or the Google attacks in China. And so they're, they're much more impactful. Um, a lot of these threats are also targeting organizations much more directly. And so uh, organizations need to be able to develop a, a security policy and, and posture um, that protects them against some of these new malware threats. Um, we can also see a lot more of these uh, targets um, coming from social media applications. And so we see more and more of these users, uh, employees, and companies using social media applications. And so to also be able to um, uh, develop security policy around these kind of applications is really important. And do you think organizations put enough emphasis on security in today's business landscape? I think some organizations are starting to. Um, you know, I think as uh, they become more aware of these kind of threats and you have more of these high profile uh, occurrences, then I think it uh, raises that requirement within organizations much more. So I think uh, uh, generally organizations are starting to look at that much more and, and we're seeing that impacted within our business as well. And we've seen the proliferation of mobile devices in the enterprise particularly. How is that affecting security? You know, mobile devices are becoming much more capable uh, with the power that you can get from the smartphones and tablet computing devices. And so, um, you know, in a lot of cases, they really are replacing uh, traditional laptops or desktop computers for many users. Um, but the fact is that many of these devices are, are devices that employees buy on their own, and they're not really managed by IT. And so it really does present a challenge to the IT organization because you know, these users want to be able to access corporate applications from these devices. And we can start to see some of the malware and other type of malicious applications being uh, targeted directly to smartphone users or uh, tablet computing devices. Now there's a lot of talk at the moment around security issues in the cloud. Do you think cloud computing actually helps or hinders organizations in terms of security? Um, in some ways they can help uh, because it, it, it is a consolidation point uh, that uh, CIOs can use to protect. But it's very similar to a data center based approach as well. And so, you know, as long as uh, organizations have the right uh, security infrastructure to protect uh, their data center or their cloud based services, um, you know, I think uh, that's a, a solution that they can go with. And what activities should organizations be doing on a day-to-day -day basis to ensure their security? I think a, a constant review of security policy is really important, making sure that the right people are coming and what kind of resources that they're accessing. Uh, I think also being able to monitor, constantly monitor their network, and then also having good uh, visualization of what's happening within the network. Those are all things that uh, IT managers need to be doing on a constant basis. And do you think conducting activities such as the security equivalent of fire drills is useful? Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's definitely something that we recommend to customers uh, when we talk to them. Um, you know, they want to be uh, best prepared uh, for things that may be happening. And uh, mm -hmm. a fire drill type of exercise is definitely a useful thing for them to do. Richard, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Georgina.